Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent Rocket Extreme Q portable NVMe drive. Now, this is the 2 terabyte capacity, which retails for roughly $360. US I'll include a link in the description, and Sabrent was kind enough to send this over for review purposes. Now, with that said, for those of you that missed the launch or announcement of this drive back at the end of June, it's significant because what it does is offer the most versatile, flexible, and quite frankly, the most performance of any portable NVMe drive on the market. And that's because what Sabrent has done is marry the functionality of their Rocket Pro line with their Rocket Extreme. And for those of you that are unfamiliar with the difference, uh, these are both four terabyte drives, but the Rocket Pro tops out at about 900 megabytes a second because it is a USB 3.2 drive. The Extreme, on the other hand, also four terabytes, uh, that is a Thunderbolt 3 only drive and you get performance to match uh, nearly two gigabytes per second in my experience, which is just insane. But the catch here is, is that the Extreme requires, as I mentioned, Thunderbolt 3. It will not work with a, a typical USB 3.2 connection like the Rocket Pro. So what they did was they decided to make one drive that could do both things. And that's what we have here in the Extreme Q. You don't have to worry about whether or not there's going to be a Thunderbolt 3 connection because now you have a drive uh, with bus support for both connections with a single cable. And that is fantastic. Now, in terms that if it works as expected, of course. Now, uh, the speeds that they're rating this for Thunderbolt 3, 2700 megabytes a second. And then USB 3.2, you're looking at 900 megabytes a second. So, very impressive, and I was hoping that they would develop something like this because as much as I love this drive, of course, if I were to bring it somewhere and not have access to Thunderbolt 3, can't use it. And, of course, the Pro, very versatile, but can't achieve the speeds uh, that I've become a little spoiled with uh, with Thunderbolt 3. So, contents. We have the drive itself, Thunderbolt 3 cable, and a USB Type-C to Type-A cable. That's it. Let's get it out of the package. And as always, Sabrent does a very nice job with packaging. I mean, these aluminum cases, no one else does it, uh, frankly, and I like them. You know, this is something you're not going to throw away, which the majority of packaging out there is headed to the garbage, isn't it? I mean, there's no reason to hold on to it. Uh, but in Sabrent's case, they really do put together very premium packaging for all of their hard drives. This is no exception. And at $360, uh, this drive is expensive, but I, again, if it works as expected, this is the drive to own because this is the one to rule them all. So we've got a little bit of paperwork. Sabrent always includes this, at least with their extreme lineup. And that's because in order to get full performance from it, you do have to uh, jump into device manager. And I've already done a tutorial on this, but you have to enable essentially right caching and uh, better performance under policies for the device. So the drive has, now I thought it was black, but it's not, it's not even a matte black. It's more like a gray, uh, space gray. And you can see the difference obviously here, as opposed to the silver that the regular extreme has. And moving right along, let's take a look at the included cables. Now, of course the dream drive here is their eight terabyte uh, capacity. But, you know, that's a little under $2,000. I believe it's around $1,600. But if you really need one drive <laughs> to do everything, and the fact that this has the connectivity to deal with everything, then you're looking at it. I mean, the 2 terabyte is no slouch, don't get me wrong. But the 8 terabyte is, you know, the fastest and largest drive on the market. And then with this enclosure, again, as I said, most versatile. So there's our, our Thunderbolt 3 cable. Uh, which of course I'll be using, but in the event uh, you want to use uh, type C to type A, you're also taking care of in that form as well. So uh, this is just Sabrent making sure that no matter what type of uh, connection you have on your end, whether it's a type C traditional or a type A USB 3 connection, you're good to go. And that again is because this drive does support both connectivity options. Sabrent also threw in this little guy, which looks like it's just a rubber shield for it. Now, I could not find this on Amazon 
or on their website. So I'm assuming this is something fairly new uh, that they started rolling out, but it looks just like uh, the rubber cover that they have on their rugged drives, which are IP67 rated. Now this of course is not an IP67 rated drive, but uh, this is probably just good for protecting it and uh, shock uh, absorbing, you know, a little bit of shock resistance to the drive itself. And I will be testing this out. I will be giving all of you updates on its performance. I will be directly comparing it to their regular uh, extreme non-Q drive that I have here in my right hand. And of course, I'll also be comparing it to the Rocket Pro that's now in my left hand. But overall, again, this drive looks like it's going to become a go-to for me because as much as I love the performance of the Extreme line and the versatility of the Pro line, as I've said over and over, having the, the ability to have both in one enclosure is the end game here because uh, there have been several times where even though this is, when I got it, the fastest drive I'd ever touched and it is amazing, there were times where I brought it over to share content with other people, show them content, and I couldn't do that because they did not have Thunderbolt 3. And so then I knew that, you know, the Pro is the drive to go to when in doubt, but now we have one, as I've stated, that covers everything. So you're never going to wonder whether or not it will actually work. And that is very relevant with uh, any data that you're storing that is valuable, uh, that is important to you. So kudos to Sabrin on making this. Now I just got to hook it up and see how it performs in both USB 3.2 as well as Thunderbolt 3 uh, modes, capabilities. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.